I rejoiced with those who said to me, Let us go to the house of the Lord. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord Almighty! Blessed are those who dwell in your house, they are ever praising you. The Lord is near to all who call on him, to all who call on him in truth. God made him who had no sin to be sin for us, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. Jesus was delivered over to death for our sins and was raised to life for our justification. Death has been swallowed up in victory. Thanks be to God, he gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Blessed Lord, you have given us your holy scriptures for our learning. May we so hear them, read, learn, and take them to heart, that being strengthened and comforted by your holy word, we may cling to the blessed hope of everlasting life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Psalm 74 Why do you stay angry to the end, O God? Why does your anger smoke against the flock in your pasture? Remember your community that you purchased long ago, the tribe that you redeemed to be your possession. Remember Mount Zion, where you dwell. March toward the perpetual ruins. March against all the evil done by the enemy in the sanctuary. Your foes roared in the middle of your appointed place. They set up their battle standards as signs. They looked like men swinging axes in a thicket of trees. Yes, they even chopped up all the carved paneling with their hatchets and hammers. They delivered your sanctuary to the fire. They defiled the dwelling place for your name by throwing it to the ground. They said in their hearts, we will crush them completely. They burned all the appointed places of God in the land. We do not see any signs to guide us. There is no longer a prophet, and none of us knows how long this will go on. How long will the foe scoff, O God? Will the enemy insult your name forever? Why do you hold back your hand, even your right hand, take it out of your pocket, and finish them off? But you, O God, are my king from long ago, the one who works salvation right here on earth. It was you who shattered the sea by your power. You broke the heads of the great sea monsters. It was you who crushed the heads of Leviathan. You gave him as food to the people who live in the desert. It was you who opened up a spring and a seasonal stream. You dried up the rivers that flow year-round. The day belongs to you, and the night is also yours. You set the moon and sun in place. It was you who laid out all the boundaries of the earth. Summer and winter, you shaped them. Remember this. The enemy scoffs, Lord and a foolish people has insulted your name. Do not surrender the life of your turtle dove to a wild animal. Do not forget the life of your afflicted ones forever. Pay attention to the covenant, because dens of violence fill the dark places in the land. Do not let the oppressed turn back in disgrace. Let the poor and needy praise your name. Rise up, O God and prosecute your case. Remember how the fools mocked you all day long. Do not forget the sound of your foes, the uproar of those who rise against you, which goes up continually. The Word of the Lord. A reading from Leviticus chapter 20. Then the Lord told Moses to say this to the Israelites, any Israelite or any of the aliens who reside in Israel, who give any of their children to Molech, must certainly be put to death. The people of the land shall stone that person to death. I myself will set my face against that person and cut him off from among his people, because when he gave some of his children to Molech, he made my sanctuary unclean and defiled my holy name. 
Furthermore, if the people of the land deliberately shut their eyes when that man gives any of his children to Molech, and they do not put him to death, I myself will set my face against that man and against his clan. I will cut off from among their people both that man and all those who join with him in prostituting themselves to Molech. If any person turns to mediums or to spiritists and prostitutes himself to them, I will set my face against that person and cut him off from among his people. You shall set yourselves apart, and you shall be holy, for I am the Lord your God. You shall keep my regulations, and you shall put them into practice. I am the Lord who has set you apart. Indeed, if anybody curses his father and his mother, he must certainly be put to death. Since he has cursed his father and his mother, his blood is upon him. If a man commits adultery with the wife of another man, if he commits adultery with the wife of his neighbor, both the adulterer and the adulteress must certainly be put to death. If a man lies down with his father's wife, he has uncovered nakedness that is reserved for his father. Both of them certainly must be put to death. Their blood is upon them. If a man lies down with his daughter-in-law, both of them must be put to death. They have committed an unnatural perversion. Their blood is upon them. If a man lies down with a male as one lies down with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They must certainly be put to death. Their blood is upon them. If a man takes a woman and her mother, it is a depraved act. Both he and they shall be burned in fire, so that there may be no depravity among you. If a man gives his omission to an animal, he must certainly be put to death, and you must kill the animal. If a woman approaches any animal to let it mate with her, you shall kill the woman and the animal. They must certainly be put to death, their blood is on them. You shall keep all my regulations and all my ordinances, and put them into practice, so that the land to which I am bringing you to live will not vomit you out. You shall not walk according to the religious practices of the nation which I am casting out before you, for I was disgusted with them, because they did all these things. So I said to you, You will take possession of their land. I myself will give it to you to possess, a land flowing with milk and honey. I, the Lord, am your God, who has distinguished you from the other peoples. You shall therefore distinguish the clean animal from the unclean, and the unclean bird from the clean. You shall not make yourselves detestable with an animal or a bird, or anything that crawls on the ground that I have distinguished, by declaring what is unclean for you. You will be holy to me, for I the Lord am holy, and I have distinguished you from the other peoples, so that you belong to me. A man or a woman who is a medium or deals with the spirits of the dead must certainly be put to death. They must be stoned to death. Their blood is on them. The Word of the Lord. A reading from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 11. After Jesus spoke, a Pharisee invited him to have a meal with him. He went in and reclined at the table. When the Pharisee saw this, he was amazed that he did not first wash before the meal. But the Lord said to him, Now you Pharisees clean the outside of the cup and dish, but inside you are full of greed and wickedness. Fools! Didn't the one who made the outside also make the inside? But give those things that are inside as a gift to the poor, and see everything will be clean for you. But woe to you, Pharisees, because you give a tenth of mint and rue and every herb, but you neglect justice and the love of God. You should have done these things without neglecting the others. Woe to you, Pharisees, because you love the best seat in the synagogues and the greetings in the marketplaces. Woe to you, because you are like unmarked graves, and people walk over them without realizing it. One of the legal experts answered him, Teacher, by saying these things, you are insulting us, too. But Jesus said, 
Woe to you legal experts too, because you load people down with burdens too difficult to carry, and you yourselves do not touch these burdens with one of your fingers. Woe to you, because you build monuments for the prophets, but your fathers killed them. So you are witnesses and agree with what your fathers did, because they killed them, and you build their monuments. For this reason the wisdom of God also said, I will send them prophets and apostles. Some of them they will kill and persecute, so that this generation may be held responsible for the blood of all the prophets that has been shed from the foundation of the world, from the blood of Abel to the blood of Zechariah, who was killed between the altar and the sanctuary. Yes, I tell you, it will be charged against this generation. Woe to you, legal experts, because you took away the key of knowledge. You yourselves did not enter, and you hindered those who were trying to enter. When he went away from there, the experts in the law and the Pharisees began to oppose him fiercely and to question him closely about many things. They were plotting against him to trap him in something he said. The Word of the Lord I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Lord, hear my prayer. Listen to my cry for mercy. In your faithfulness and righteousness come to my relief. Spare us, Lord, from the lies of the devil and the attacks of our conscience. Comfort and save us in your patient compassion. Have mercy on us, Jesus. Guide us, Lord, to the wisdom of your word and the power of your promises. Take away our confusion and doubt. Have mercy on us, Jesus. Hear us, Lord, when we come to you in prayer. Make us confident to take you at your word and to follow you in faith. Have mercy on us, Jesus. Empower us, Lord, to walk in your ways and live in your truth. Fill us with your love, that we may love you and one another. Have mercy on us, Jesus. Almighty God, by the death of your Son you conquered sin, and by his resurrection you restored our innocence and gave us everlasting life. Fill our hearts with steadfast faith, that we may daily serve you in your kingdom and praise and thank you always. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The Almighty and merciful Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen.